Now, India has recorded 986 COVID-19 deaths and over 72,000 infections overnight, taking the case low to over 6.7 million. While globally, the virus has claimed over 1 million and 47,000 lives and infected more than 35.6 million people. More details in this report. With the second wave of the virus stalling hopes of any economic revival, the IMF has once again warned of an absolute crash of the global economy. In Latin America, Brazil registers the highest daily new cases in almost a month. While Argentina has reported the world's highest rate of positive cases. In the United States, the virus is spreading further among President Donald Trump contacts as over a dozen of his top aides contract the virus. Over in Asia, COVID-19 continues to overwhelm already devastated India. Wastelands in India are being cleared to add space for graves in the capital's oldest cemetery. The land that was allotted to us in this graveyard, all of that land has been filled up. After a meeting with the authorities yesterday, we were allocated some more land. So this machine is here to clean up that patch of land and create some fresh space. Over in Europe, Spain has become the first Western European nation to surpass 800,000 total coronavirus cases, as Finland registered highest number of infections in the last 24 hours. Holland has recorded the highest number of deaths. The World Health Organization says pandemic fatigue is raising levels of apathy. We think that this is a forgotten aspect of COVID in a sense that um, Part of the challenges that we face is that this is an uh, underfunded area uh, historically. So when something like uh, the current uh, pandemic uh, happens, we see the impact uh, may be heavier in this area because of the uh, past uh, situation. Meanwhile, Russia's daily tally of cases rose to its highest since May. The Kremlin has imposed fresh restrictions in the capital city of Moscow.